All right, next up in the nozzle airflow versus carpet depth. Somewhat of a follow-up, but not quite, to my first video. We have here on the left a 2013 Kirby Centria 2, and on the right a 2015 Dyson DC65 Animal Complete. The difference, the primary difference between the first test and this one is this little strip of metal right here that keeps the carpet down. Because with the G6 in the previous test, it literally grabbed the edge of the carpet and was kind of pulling it up. And it may have messed up the test a little bit, but you still get the general raw idea. So we got some sand and flour down here. And let's see what we can do. As a reminder, 52 nozzle CFM, 137 nozzle CFM. Suction is the highest in 2015, Dyson said in the world, probably for uprights. 56 inches of water lift, which I think is about 4 kPa. And this one here, uh, I can't measure it per se, but I bet you it's in the low 30s. I'm going to say maybe 32, because in here, when I take the nozzle off and I measure just that front plate, I get, I think it's about 34 inches of water lift. So this is high CFM, low airflow, low air watts. This is high suction, high air watts, low CFM. So I think I'll do two passes, see what happens. All right, that's one pass. All right, that's two passes. Remember, we were gonna go halfway into the nozzle, into the nozzle depth, I guess you could say. Okay, this is at position three. This curve is at position three, and we'll do the same thing. Let's take a real close look. There's a Kirby, and there's a DC-65, and there they are together. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.